Hello, 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 everybody. Let me make sure everything is you know, up and kosher before I really go all that far. All right, looks good. Okay. So, pretty sure you guys know by now exactly what's going on. At least I would hope so. Well, let's get a move on. Yeah, I'm not at Beagle Point anymore. It's back that way a few thousand light years. I haven't gone that far, though, so... It's time to get a move on. Hey, Miguel. How's it going, man? Close enough. Come on. Here we go. And actually, let's take some of these out now. Perfect. All right. Off we go with the behemoth. I'm actually going to turn that down a little bit. There we go. That ought to do. All right. So how's everyone doing today? We're having fun. Four, three, two, one, engage. Yeah, Coldza. I made it there literally 17 hours after I left the bubble. I didn't stop. I went all the way there in one go. And man, new audio system is really getting picked up big time. Let me turn that off. There, that ought to do. Or close enough, anyway. Four, three, two, one, engage. Uh, Jamesy, it kind of depends. Uh, how how determined are you? <laughs> Is I I went my conda has a 63.37 light year range and it took me a little over 17 hours like 17 hours and 10 minutes or so of actual in game time to get there. Fuel scooping complete. So you can probably use that as a pretty decent uh, judge. Yeah, just straight at it. I went straight across the abyss on my way there. Four, three, two, one, engage. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Hope life is treating you well. Oh, and great test. You have a cutter now. How, how do you like that ungodly drift? Fuel's 
scooping complete. Oh no, Coldza. I am I am not that crazy. Not at all. Hey, I'm Gray. How's it going, man? How are you? Get a track IR back on there. So I've been playing using the track IR for the last couple of days, you know, just off and on, and I gotta say, I really like this thing. Fuel scooping complete. It's neat. How was Beagle Point? Beagle Point was pretty cool. Two, one, engage. Yeah, Beagle Point was pretty great. Yeah, I hear you on the space madness, Coldza. I um, I about, I about lost my mind by the time I made it to Beagle Point last week. Four, three, two, one. Hey, Bluish, how are you? And how was the development status? Depends on where you're at. Like if you were talking about Colonia, Colonia is um. Colonia is not bad. I mean, there there really isn't much in the way of like outfitting and stuff like that out there, but you know, that's that's fine. Bluish, we we we've, we've made it to Beagle Point. I'm on my way home now. Yeah, that 8A scoop is crazy. It's so expensive, but it's, yeah, I've never seen anything scoop that fast. Because I think Class 8, I think, is the biggest internals that we can get right now. Is there even a reason to run an 8A? No, not really. Four, three, I mean, two, one, engage. Not that I can think of anyway. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I mean, a 7A scoop does plenty well. I think the cutter, though, doesn't the cutter have a 64 ton fuel tank instead of a 32 like the Anaconda? I mean, that. Mm, I feel like that might have something to do with it. That might be one of the only reasons if you're actually taking a cutter out on exploration, anyway. It's about the only thing I can think of. Fuel 
Your scooping complete. Yeah, Coldza. I think, doesn't the Beluga have the biggest fuel tank in the whole game right now? I don't think anything else has a 128 ton tank stock. Four, At least not that three, I can think of offhand. Two, one, engage. Uh, I don't know, Useless. I, there's, there's not an outfitting place anywhere near to check it. I'm going to assume it's been at 0% for a long time. And I can tell you my decals on this thing are pretty much gone, and you can definitely see some uh, paint wear on it complete. when the light is hitting it in the right spots. Yeah, that's what I thought, Colza. Three, two, Plot twist, it's at 100%. One, yeah, I, that's a pipe dream. But I'm kind of looking forward to getting this thing, like, actually in a bay, like, parked at a station. Just so I can see what the paint job actually looks like when it's under, you know, when it's actually under station light. I guess it's got to be pretty messed up by now. I mean, at least you'd think so. I mean, how long did I spend in Super Cruise on the way out here? A while. Plot twist, I'm still in the bubble. It was all a dream. <laughs> no, I don't know. Tell that to my sanity and see what happens. Do I remember how to dock? Yes. Yes, I do. Because I've actually been on my alternate account a couple of times. Uh, just doing some random stuff. I, I um, Since this, this, this account's not going to be back in the bubble in time to do the cannon CG at all. So I'm not going to have like the decals or anything for this one. Um, so I hopped on my alternate account and did a bit, uh, bit of bounty hunting. Just so I can get them on one of them. And I think I docked at least a half dozen times on that tune, just yesterday alone, so, you know. I've not entirely lost it yet. Four, Keyword here is three, yet. Two, one, engage. Oh no, Coldza. I only have two heat sinks left. I came out here with two launchers, and one of them is empty. The other one only has two. So, yeah. I don't trust you. Fuel scooping complete. Oh, Chris, a lot of people, when they, um, when they're out exploring for a while they kind of forget how to dock so then you know when they try it again it just goes crazy Four, three, two, one, engage. well my alternate account is a ghost right now none of you guys know its name there's only a few people that do actually Plater might, if he's paying attention to his uh, private group and friend requests. Yeah, I don't have a docking computer on this thing, Chris. And a lot of explorers don't bother with it Fuel either. Because, you know, things like AFMUs are far more important. Haha, <laughs> cold sun. Oh, bluish. See, I've heard of plenty of people doing that. Four, three, two, one, engage. Heard of something called a tachyon relay run. What is that? That that sounds interesting, but I have no idea what it is. Four, 
<laughs> Blader. <laughs> See, but then, how did you ever do anything? Like, did you get all your money through multi-crew? Is that what happened? Four, three, two, one, engage. That sounds interesting. Using neutron stars as kind of a relay thing. Huh. That might be worth looking into, see if someone's actually done that. I've never heard of that before. And yeah, I know Chris, Multicrew is terrible on that grind. This is really bad. Fuel scooping complete. You come back log in CQC. <laughs> You're a terrible human being, Plater. Absolutely terrible. Yeah, there. Yeah, Tom. There is the neutron highway, but using like setting up a relay race using neutrons would be really interesting. Yeah, see, there you go, Coldza. Now you got the right idea. The Conda. That's where it's at. Out of the big three, I actually find the Conda to be the most useful, as it, it can do everything that the other two can do. It just it may not do them quite as well with the exception of exploration. When it comes to exploration, the Conda has the other two be absolute hands down, no questions asked. I mean, it's not, a lot of that is just personal preference though, because not everyone's gonna like the Conda. But just like, I have a very strong hatred of the Cutter. Yeah. It's just how, it's just, it's just me. Hate the cutter. But, you know. Combat log and training missions. You are a terrible human being. Naughty person, you. Big three progression was cutter, corvette, conda. Uh, so, yeah, so you went backwards. Most people go, um... Conda, corvette, cutter. Keyword most. Four, three... Bluish, why did you sell your conda? Why? That's like blasphemy. Sacrilege. <laughs> the intro cinematic. But that's not a combat log, though. That's not even really... Yeah, that, that's like barely even a log. Because you're, you're not really logged in. You really don't like it. Just out of curiosity, what didn't you like with the Conda? Uh, combat is too easy? Well, it depends. Against NPCs, it's definitely going to be way too easy, but against players, it's a very different story. Combat log on the launcher. I feel like this has turned into a very awkward Four, competition. Three, two, one, engage. Oh, Tom, that's kind of what I did. I I did a couple of the tutorials, and then I just kind of like jumped right into it. In retrospect, I probably should have finished some of them first, because, man, those first couple of days were really rough for me. That log on the Windows welcome screen. That's not a combat log, though, because you're not in combat. I mean, unless you're, you know, fighting with the computer, in which case, I mean, that's just... I don't even know what to say to that. Four, That's kind of dark, two, useless. One, like if you, if you follow that through to its logical conclusion, that's that's dark.
Uh oh, Bluish. What'd you, what'd you spend the money on? A clipper. Actually, no, I like the clipper. I actually want one, I just don't have the rank for it yet. Bought a conda to replace your mining clipper. You know, I can see that because the conda. Conda, I think, makes a really good miner. I don't know, it just. It just does good at almost everything. So, I guess not like the best at it, but as far as like utility things and exploration, it's so easy to outfit this thing. Cutter, best miner. Eh. I can see it being useful for that, but I just don't like the way it flies. So, me personally, I'm just going to say the Conda is better. But again, that's personal preference though, too. Vet best miner? Uh-uh. The vet doesn't have the jump range to get anywhere useful. Like, yeah. Uh, I really don't like that thing. It's fine for combat, but... Mining? I don't know. That might be pushing it. Fuel scooping complete. Yeah, see, Chris has got the right idea. Vets don't mind, they blow stuff up. Four, three, Who needs jump range? One, People eight, that want to maintain a certain level of sanity. That's who needs jump range. Courier is actually a nice little ship. I, I like flying those quite a lot, actually. I just don't do it enough. I should have one laying around somewhere, though. I think I parked it in my home system. Keyword here is think. Yeah, coming from the guy who went to Beagle Point. Yeah, I know. But see, I at least did it with a ship that has a really good jump Four, range. Three, that way I didn't two, completely one, lose my mind. Engage. I need some of this here, Dr. Pepper now, too. There we go. Sidewinder, best combat ship. <laughs> hey, Avi, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? And I will say that the, uh, the Sidewinder, when it's built correctly, is an impossible ship to fight against. Like, you'll eventually kill it, but it takes, it takes a while. As Parox likes to say, Sidewinder is bay. Hey, that rhymes. Two, one, engage. And one of these days I'm gonna do a Brickwinder stream so everyone can meet the Brickwinder and its ridiculousness. Because I'm not going to lie, it's kind of crazy. Anyone who has fought the Brickwinder in the past will tell you it is extremely annoying. Fuel 
Fuel scooping complete. 24 hour Sidewinder stream? Oh no. First exam tomorrow. Can't wait to drink bleach. Well then. Three, two, one, engage. Piped up fart machine? What? What? The Sidewinder? No. We're going to Brickwinder Buckyball run to Beagle Point. I think taking the Sidewinder to Beagle Point as it's set up brick style would be impossible and take way more. Yeah, it would it would be impossible, actually. Uh, it won't have the jump range for it when it's set up you know, in true Brickwinder style. Brickwinder versus Ouch Potato. Seems legit. 24 hours of Le Mans and Elite Dangerous. Well, we need a suitable track for that. And a whole bunch of people with uh, synthesis materials to fix SRVs. I feel like that'd be a thing too. And, and useless taking the brick winder to Beagle Point would be impossible because it won't have the physical jump range to get there. Not unless I uh, make it not a brick winder and just a regular side winder. Four, three, two, one, engage. Well, we can skip that part, Cold. Hey, Doge, how's it going, man? You go mad a third of the way, probably. Fuel scooping complete. Six hour and twelve hour to Beagle Point. I don't know if it's possible to do that. Six hours to Beagle Point? Uh uh. Like, if there's a way to do that, I would be duly impressed. The Proto Heat Radiators, Plater. I don't remember those being too bad. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I picked up a whole mess of those when I was looking for something else. Fuel scooping complete. Uh, on which ship, Chris? On the Brickwinder or the or my Conda that I'm in now? Three, two, one, engage. Using the neutron star pathways. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, it's still, six hours is really, really fast. Even with the neutrons. A uh, thousand light years on the brick winder? About a hundred and two. About a hundred and twenty to a hundred and twenty five jumps to do a thousand light years, give or take. As when it when it's set up in true brickwinder fashion, you know, it only has like an eight or nine light year jump range. It's pretty low. But it's so incredibly heavy. Four, three, two, one, engage. Yeah, that's why I said the brickwinder cannot make it to Beagle Point. It, it, it can't get there. You have to be able to jump a minimum, I think, of um, it's like it's either 34 or 36 light years. I can't remember which. Um, 
Yeah, and even with uh, premium Jumponium, you know, it, it's not going to come anywhere close to that. Five hours, 56 minutes using neutron stars. That's crazy. <laughs> Hoppy. I actually just watched that video uh, like two days ago. It's one of the funniest things I've ever heard Neil say. Yeah, independent systems in a boom state. High population is definitely helpful for that Fuel later. Colds is exactly right. But they are... Um, the high grade emissions so go out into you know deep space you know like two or th you know three thousand plus light seconds from the central star at least Ready to engage. that's that's what i usually do when i'm after high grades like that two, one engage oh miguel thanks man i will get a look at that probably later today it's only the middle of the afternoon for me, so you know I've still got you know seven, eight hours worth of time, you know, to work. More coffee, coffee, Fuel bean water. It is not worthy. I always seem to hit it like right at 1300 light years when I'm doing this. Oh, really? That system is one light year past the limit. That's stupid. There we go. Perfect. Brian, how far am I from the bubble? Uh, best guess, right about 50, and somewhere between 50 to 52,000 light years still. From the center, I'm probably 27 or 8,000 away. Something like that. I don't know. I Honestly, I don't really pay that close attention. Is when I when I start paying that close attention is when I go crazy trying to uh, get to actually fly somewhere. New game music pack thing coming out. I have not. What is that? Four, three, two, one, engage. Control it with your voice and tell it to turn off things like the percussion and stuff. Oh, that would be neat. Actually, now that you say that, I, I remember someone talking about that kind of functionality in something, but I didn't know that's what it actually was. Yeah, that's probably where I heard it from, Miguel. Four, three, two, one, engage. Oh, nice, Miguel. That'd be awesome. What's the jam theme for today? Well, right now I'm just letting it play through. I'm just Winamp is just cycling through. Uh, all the the like my my YouTube music library, quote unquote, and all stuff that I've pulled from YouTube's music library. That's you know I don't get in trouble for using. Hey. 
Hey, Winamp is the best, Blader. Come on. Don't, don't you be dissing my Winamp. My Winamp is the greatest. Nice, Miguel. Uh, Miguel, do you happen to know uh, Johannes Bornloff by chance? Four, um, three, if there is two, anyone that should get one, something like that, engage. I would really love for that guy to have one of those too, because he's got some great stuff that I really, really like. I don't know about that, Avi. That, that. That, yeah, that. That playlist sounds like, um. Like it's trouble waiting to happen. Fuel scooping complete. Yeah, see, that guy... Oh, okay, so you're just in the initial discussion, but still, I would like... Yeah, if you could get a spot on there, man, that'd be awesome. Alright then, Avi. Four, three, two, one, engage. So control alt space should be, you know, it's over with. The deadline was a week ago. Well, uh, who do you guys think is gonna win? Have you guys watched any of the the uh, the really good videos? I've seen a few of them, and they are amazing. I would assume so. Tikus's video is pretty good. <laughs> Miguel. Yeah, there are so many videos in that competition, like, a lot of them put mine to shame. Like, I don't think mine is going to place at all, and that's perfectly okay. As, man, some of those videos are just really, really good. Why did everyone use Sidewinders? Well, it kind of depends. Hey, Camo, how's it going? Like, my video... Okay, to explain, like, my video tells a story. Essentially. And so it, it starts out, you know, with the pilot, you know, in the beginning of his career. And the Sidewinder is, you know, is kind of how, you know, it, it's what everyone starts with. So. Yes, I am, Haruna. And I don't think I've seen Blind Pew's video yet. Or if I have, I don't remember exactly what it was. Because I've watched so many of them and I can't 
remember who's with who's, unless it really sticks out in my mind for some reason. Yeah, Turgeon's tearjerker. Like, he went straight for the feels. I was like, oh, it's that tactic again. Man. Uh, Adernus' video, the weddings. I think so. Four, three, two, one, engage. Uh, I am headed back to the bubble, I think, Haruna. Oh, nice, Miguel. Yeah, there should have been an epic combat one. Well, to be completely fair, combat footage is particularly difficult to get in this. Like, you, you almost, you have to use multi-crew, really, to be able to do it. Yeah, not necessarily, Coldza. But three, yeah. Two, one, engage. Yeah, see my hollow me was in it. Like in in my video the hollow me was definitely in it, but multi crew mm, not really. And that was that was because I was having a hard time with continuity. Otherwise I probably would have used some of your uh, some of your cobra piloting footage from when you knew and I were in multi crew. Yeah, a lot of the stuff, Chris. A lot of um, a lot of the footage that you saw. A lot of people were using multi crews or wings to do it. And I can't I can't say I blame them because it does make things a lot easier. The problem that I have is uh, finding out how to explain exactly what I want to other people. As I I can see it in my head, but I can't always word it very well. And yeah, it just it frustrates me and people I work with, so I tend to try and avoid that as much as I can. Multi crew mining wins outright. I don't know about that. It's mining. It doesn't win at anything except for driving people to the brink of insanity by sheer boredom alone. Ironic I say that as I'm flying back to the bubble from you know a buckyball run to Beagle Point. Three, two, one, engage. A remake of someone else's with combat antique is, huh. Scooping complete. So, one million per hour with mining. That's better than I've ever done. And, Alexander, my current jump range is 63.3 light years. Four, three, I could get it higher if I had one, bothered to uh, spend a little bit more time with the engineers, but... I really didn't feel like doing it, so I'm, I'm stuck at just over 63 light years at the moment. Dark days ahead in Battle of 3303. Alright, I'll have to check those out, Miguel. Fuel scooping complete. Yeah, so Discord is two years old now. Well, Four, at least they've hung three, in that long. That's two, actually... One, engage. I'm not actually that surprised because it was kind of like the first of its kind. But, yeah. I mean, with the exception of, like, IRC, but IRC doesn't have half the functionality that this does, really. Or if it does, it's a cluster to try and sort out. Fuel 
scooping complete. And yeah, you would be right on that, Colza. Um, the materials drop more often. You know, it takes up some of the space, I think, from the asteroid yields. So a thing called three-sided chess sounds very Star Trek-like. Yeah, it sounds very Star Trek like. Uh, JDI, there was no. I don't know. It's a good question. Fuel scoop and I, if if it was possible to find out, I would have found out. But hey, Malcolm, what's going on, man? Engage. Yeah, it kind of is a little bit off-putting, Miguel. I noticed that on my way out to Beagle Point. And, yeah, they really do need to fix that. It's, it's unnatural. Not a fan. Fuel scooping complete. Spartan darts. Yeah, I hear you on that, Malcolm. Okay. Let's see. I need to find... You know what? I know what we're going to play. I'm going to do... There we go. Sounds legit. And galaxy map, which plot the next thousand light years. Okay. It's kind of close. All right, that works. Sanic the Hedgehog. Gotta go fast. How far to go, Plater? Um, a long ways. Four, three, a very long two, ways. One, engage. I mean, I've done about 3,000 light years so far just since the start of the stream. I, I'm not burning too hard yet. Actually, you know what? We'll finish this jump, and then I'll hop on the galaxy map, and I'll show you guys exactly where I'm at. Four, three, two, one, engage. Four, 
Do I ever burn hard? Yes. The obvious answer to that is yes. Alright, that's lined up. Alright, we'll hop in the uh, galaxy map now. So I can show you guys precisely where I am. I am there. And the bubble is all the way over there. So if I hit my home system. I am still 50,000 light years away from my home system. I don't fly Orcus though, Malcolm. Four, three, two, one, engage. Any neutrons nearby? Not that I've seen. And I haven't really looked that hard for it. Uh, yeah, route plotting in the galaxy map is not my strong suit either. As with the amount of time it would take me to plot routes and stuff using the galaxy map, I can just jump it regular. Yeah, I've flown one, I think, twice, maybe. Four, three, two, once for Zencast, and I think once in beta, but I don't remember which beta it was, though. To find a board cube and get a transwarp coil. You know, I am in the Delta Quadrant. This, this would be their territory. Oh, why did you name it that, Avi? Oh. Yeah, uh-huh, Malcolm. To engage. Well, it'd help if I actually aligned with the system, wouldn't it? Two, one, engage. Yeah, it, it kind of did go meme, Malcolm. A little bit. I blame you entirely for that. Fuel scooping complete. Fake taxi. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, engage. Your know, Magic School Bus is actually what I named my Viper 3 that I use when I uh, when I start teaching other people how to you know, how, how to get good. Although I haven't done that for a while. <laughs> Definitely peachy. <laughs> uh, no, Plater. It's because I don't run Friday Flight School anymore. Yeah, please don't Google fake taxi. Especially if you're at work or around children. 
That would be a very bad plan. A blue waffle is even worse. Now it's not because I'm not good, Plater. It's because uh, you know I, I'm not with that group anymore. You turd. No, don't don't look up the blue waffle. That's a bad idea. Admiral Akbar says it's a trap. See, my dirty mind plater is already taking Lemon Party to strange places. Google, you're Googling everything people say not to. Well, I hope you're not at work. Fuel scooping complete. Yeah, you're, you're going to see some stuff by the time this is all over, Nathan, if they keep this up for much longer. Like, I, I'm sure you're already seeing some pretty messed up things. No, don't bring out don't bring out anything worse. Cause then it's just gonna get real weird. Googled Paroxysm's Bay and got an article on morphine. Well Yeah. I can see that. Seems legit. I'm very confused by some of the things you guys are saying in there. And Jar Jar Binks needs to freaking die. It's a travesty. Should never have happened to Star Wars, period. No, you don't you don't love anything, Malcolm. And I certainly don't love Jar Jar. He used to die. Fuel scooping complete. Jar Jar is a train wreck that should have never happened. Bad juju against Jar Jar. No. No. It's no bad juju. 
He's just a bad character. Yes, I, I'm going to second Nathan. Please stop. Jar Jar Sith Lord? Yeah, Jar Jar is a train wreck. Four, Nothing three, else. Two, one, oh, this engage. chair. I'm going to be so glad when I can actually afford to replace this stupid chair. Yeah, Chris, Jar Jar should never have happened. Like, he really shouldn't have. That that character is just Terra bad in every way. Four, three, two, one, engage. Nah, no, I think we're skipping this one. Ooh, there we go. There we go, another thousand light years down on the return trip. Fuel scooping complete. Uh, I actually don't Google hardly anything, Nathan. Yeah, the prequels are just terrible all around for the most part. You'll get no argument from me on that one. No thing. I don't know what you're doing. That's not what I wanted you to do. Why did it go that far? I'm gonna come up a little ways too. How about that one? Not quite. Here? Not there yet. Uh, close enough. Alright. Off we go. To the wild blue yonder. The punk version of Titanic. Three, two, one, engage. I can actually get you the um the metal version of that. Let's see if I can find it. Oh no, Nathan, stream bomb. Fuel scooping complete. Here you go. This this is my this is my response. <laughs> Here, we'll pull out a little bit of um We'll pull this out. That's a little loud. There we go, that's not so bad. Yeah, my pull-out game, strong, son.
Why? Because why not? <laughs> uh, metal version so much better than punk. I'm just gonna throw this out there like taking this song from Celine Dion and turning it into anything remotely similar to hard rock or metal takes some serious skill no how, how about we don't do that Orange like Donald Trump. Enough of that. We'll go back to hmm. Where should I start this? There we go. Seems legit. Hillary Clinton is a demon. <laughs> The living meme. Uh, Alex Jones or Hillary Clinton? Or both? I'm thinking both, personally. I don't think I'm going to play anything by Darude. Degraded to politics. You know, politic discussions are like the pinnacle of conversation. That, that's what it is. Uh, no, I do not have that. And to be completely honest, I have to avoid playing certain songs like that on streams and YouTube as much as I can. Just because of, you know, copyright issues and stuff like that. It gets complicated. And yeah, GDI Johnny B. Good went metal. Four, 
<laughs> Mars killing all those demons. It sounds like Shadow Warrior. Is that what that is? Shadow Warrior? I've actually played the um, the remake of Shadow Warrior that released in 2013, I think. It's a fun game. I might stream some of that at some point. Ah, oh, Doom. Go, you shush it, Malcolm, because there's demons and all kinds of crazy in Shadow Warrior, too. Yeah, and Doom, no. That game is kind of... Well, I haven't played the new Doom, mostly because, you know, after Doom 3, I'm I'm a little burnt out on Doom, even even though that was, god, how long ago was that? 14 years ago? Something crazy like that? Well, I can only half pay attention, and I didn't I don't recall seeing Doom mentioned in there anywhere. All I saw was the word demon. And yeah, Ultimate Doom, best FPS. Yeah, I don't know. Four, three, Yeah, see, I don't have the new Doom, and personally, not that interested. Kind of like I'm not much interested in, um, I think, Quake is supposed to be coming back, but I'm not terribly interested in that either. Now, Return to Castle Wolfenstein was really good. And then the Wolfenstein that was released a, yeah, a few years ago. I haven't played that one yet, but it's supposed to be really good. Nice. I probably won't have any escort myself, Nathan. Or it'd be kind of hard to escort me, though. So I move a little too quick. Well, the new Quake is just like Quake of old, from what I can see. And Overwatch is, you know, basically just a clone of that stuff with a different skin on it. From what I've seen. Now, don't quote me on that, because I've never played Overwatch either. That kind of cartoony shooters like that just really don't interest me. Three, two, one, engage. Descent really isn't an FPS, though. Like, it's... I mean, well, it, like, it kind of is. It's like a weird cross between a first-person shooter and, like, a piloting game. I'm not sure what to call it. And yeah, Quake is going to sell a lot of copies, but that doesn't mean it's any good. Fuel scooping complete. Oh yeah, see the new Quake, like just from what I've seen of it, like it just looks like a graphically updated version of uh, Four, Quake 3 Arena. Three, two, that's, one, that's what it looks eight. like from my point of view. Oh, and free to play in an FT in an FPS like that. That's gonna be. Mm, I don't see that going very well, because it's going to be like one of those stupid pay-to-win things, I can tell already. Because that's how it usually ends up when you go free-to-play on a first-person shooter.
four, three, two, one, engage. Like, as far as Call of Duty goes, though, the original Call of Duty, I think, is the one that I've had the most fun playing. Because I like ones like that, and then, see, like, Sniper Elite. Uh, you know, stuff like that it interests me far more than a lot of the, um, kind of cookie-cutter style nonsense that we get now. Like, the original Call of Duty was something of a departure from what, you know, we were used to back in the day. Yeah, TF2 might be free to play, but, you know, it's because of the way it's set up, you know, that it can get away with that. I don't see Quake following that same path. I think Team Fortress 2 is the only free-to-play first-person shooter that, um, that, that has been successful with the free-to-play model. Virtually everyone else takes... You know, the, oh, look at all this shiny stuff that you can get when you pay. And by the way, you know, you're a god if you pay. Like, and I can understand why they do that, but at the same time, like, if you're going to make it free to play, at least make it viable for both sides. Fuel scooping complete. Yeah, who cares about hats? Three, two, one, engage. Like, I know that's blasphemous to say when it comes to, like, Team Fortress, but I really don't care. Yeah, I'm gonna insult the hats. When a game is all about the hats, they definitely have you distracted from everything else that matters. Yeah, I haven't even... Let's see, God, how long has it been since I even touched Team Fortress 2? Um... Uh, 2014? No, it was 2013. And... Ooh. Yeah, so that was four years ago, almost. Uh, status. Semi-crazy. Range a long freaking ways. Oh, I always do that, end up going too far. A thousand and nine. Not that one. A thousand and two. Close enough. Semi crazy? Yeah, I'm only semi crazy. most memorable games that I've played from the old days. Total Annihilation, Team Fortress Classic, and probably Free Space 2. My top three from the old days, except for maybe 
Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll expand that a little bit. Diablo 2 and Diablo 1. Those two games. That'd be, you know, that's my, my top five from ye olden days. <laughs> you know, I wear hats on a regular basis, but, you know, it's just a... Uh, it's, it's a camel hat, so... XCOM UFO. I've never played any of the XCOM games, actually. And I never played Chrono Trigger, either. Have to be crazy to keep from going insane to stay normal. What? I don't think I've ever played that one either, Bluish. Fuel scooping complete. Get your stuff whenever. And I haven't played any of the Metroid games for a long, long, long time. Bioshock is a series I've not played either, actually. I, I don't know why. It's just one that I never did get around to trying out. I don't know why, but this really entertains me. Stream chat is a catastrophic mess. Why is it a catastrophic mess, Nathan? <laughs> Ooh, I played Return to Monkey Island, but I never beat it, though.
And of course, my phone decides to go off right now of all times. Be quiet, phone. Move in the puns. X-Wing, man, that's a game I haven't heard even talked about for... Ooh. Four, three, a real long time. Two, one, engage. I mean, Plater, if you can, if you could get that to work, I would watch. I haven't seen anyone that plays that game in so long. Dark Souls, I've never actually played that either. Oh, you've got TIE Fighter also? Oh! A blast from the past! Elite combat when I'm drunk, Avi? Mm -hmm. I could make that happen at some point. But, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, the, the whole drinking part is something that I just don't really do. Engage. Well, and to be fair, Malcolm, I haven't had, you know, the funding to spare for that for, you know, how long now? Like, I'm just going to throw this out there. If you guys want me to do it, then if you guys can donate 50 bucks through my Streamlabs link that's in the description, I'll do it. A drunk elite combat stream. That's the deal. Yeah, he's not wrong. Malcolm's not wrong. It would be insanity. <laughs> Malcolm, that's, that's a little forceful there, dude. That was savage. It doesn't have to be all from one person. It can be spread out. I'm just saying, if you guys can get me that much, then I'll be able. I'll do it. Because at that point, you guys deserve it.
Yeah, see, that, I know the feeling, Nathan. I'm kind of in that boat myself right now. Then it can fireball. <laughs> A time for a Kickstarter. <laughs> Go fund me twenty dollars to make egg salad. Yeah, I feel you. Fuel scooping complete. I should do a Kickstarter for what? I'm not even sure, like, how would that even work? Four, three, two, one, engage. Ooh. Knuckle pop it's going on there. A Kickstarter for liquor. Because that is Kickstarter worthy. Make one for a Ferrari. Yeah, good luck with that. Fuel scooping complete. Yeah, if you can sponsor my hangover. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the stream. And I made it to Beagle Point. I'm actually on my way back right now. So, I still got a ways to go. Note, you will not be sharing the egg salad. Well, I gotta say, in all fairness, $20 isn't gonna make, like, an overabundance of egg salad with which you would be able to share. So that makes perfect sense. A stretch goal. Yeah, there you go. See, now you're thinking. A predator laptop? Why would I want that? Three, two, or anyone for that matter. Engage. Potato salad guy wanted 20 bucks and got like 100k. Good god, that's nuts. Oh, sure, Nathan. I'll accept that. Hey, JDI. Thanks for the donation, man. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, so you guys are about 10% of the way there. I'll keep a running tally. Yeah, I appreciate that, JDI. Thanks, man. All right, and that's another thousand light years down. Fuel scooping complete. Oh, that's fine. Work's important too. I, I, I would say arguably more important than a trip back from Beagle Point. <laughs> support me in my sleep. Well, I appreciate that. All right, that way. Almost. About that system. Perfect.
Uh, Malcolm, if you told me that I won't make it back, I'd say you're full of it. Go fund me for a lot of different ways to eat healthy meals for diabetics. A worthy goal. But I'm not sure I'd be the right person to set that up. Someone else could do it. Yeah, Malcolm, you're a very long ways away from being able to do that. I'm just saying. Fuel scooping complete. And I could always just do this in solo when I get closer to the bubble if I really wanted to. You know, because of, you know, you. Four, three, A watchful eye and two, patience. Yes, you most one, certainly would need boats. It is going to be a while before I get back to the bubble yet. You've been a dive back for over 40 years now, so you've been around, you, that's a long time. Also, that sucks. Fuel scooping complete. Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna say the shots. I used to work with um with a lady who was diabetic, and she was really bad about taking her insulin when she needed to. And. Maybe a couple of times to be at work, Four, and three, she, uh, I think it's happened eight. twice while I still worked with her, and she would have uh, diabetic seizures, because she would, for whatever reason, like, just not stay on top of her insulin and stuff like she should. You know, the first time it happened, I had no idea what was going on. And the second time, it wasn't as much of a surprise, but it's, still, it wasn't very good. And she used to, apparently, from what I understand, she used to do it all the time. Um, Fuel it's, it's probably, I think, just the two times that I witnessed, and then she's probably, she had to have done it, you know, at, at least a half dozen times before I ever even started working there, because everyone else was used to it by then. It was weird. I can't necessarily say I blame her for, uh, you know, for either not wanting or not being able to stay on top of things, but I mean, it was it was a little freaky. Yeah, he probably is. The old man, he can't stay up past ten o'clock anymore. Although for him, it's like. Yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock at night for him now, I think. And Malcolm, friends don't avoid each other. That was only true when one isn't trying to shoot the other one. Yeah, see, it's only four in the afternoon for me. It's Well, it's not quite four. It's 3.56 in the afternoon for me. Fuel scooping complete. Yeah. 
You suggested that you would, Malcolm. <laughs> See, there you go. Now you're getting it. You had good reason, you sure? Right. Yeah, Plater lives in the UK. He's on uh, BST time right now. So he's UTC plus one, I believe. That sounds right. I hate time zones. It drives me bonkers. Very funny, Malcolm. Uh, Admiral Akbar, we are one, welcome to the stream. And two, we're talking about an awful lot. Fuel scooping complete. Kill Plater in a plasma orca during the 24 hour stream. That's evil. Yeah, Admiral Akbar, I am still. Um, I'm I'm still roughly about forty-eight thousand light years away, so that that's a lot of jumps. So take uh, forty-eight times Four, about three, oh, two, one, engage. forty-eight times seventeen, and that'll get you an approximate, give or take, pretty close anyway. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do all of it today. There's no way. Uh, I, I did the trip from the bubble all the way out to Beagle Point all in one go. Now, I'm going to break this up into a couple of sessions, probably. Matter of fact, I will probably call it... Um, yeah, Malcolm is heartless. That that I can can confirm. Malcolm is heartless. Um, I'm probably gonna break this stream, the return stream, up into at least three different sections. I am thinking. No, I'm. Oh, I'm probably gonna finish this thousand light years and then maybe do another thousand and call it for today, as far as the stream goes. Well, maybe if you weren't such a heartless prick, Malcolm, that would change. Feel savage, man. Fuel scooping complete. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, engage. Yeah, that's a lot of the times that's true, Akbar. Um, that's yeah, it sounds about right. Cause I think a uh, Twitch delay, ooh, usually about twenty seconds, a lot of the time, give or take. From what I've seen, it's usually about twenty seconds or so. Um, yeah, YouTube, for me anyway, the YouTube streams tend to have about uh, roughly an 11 second delay, right about. Four, three, two, one, well, happy early birthday, Avi. Oh uh, yeah, so um, 
Yeah, so JDI, you, you've got it. You know, about 800 or so jumps left, give or take. It's a heck of a trip, that's for sure. Ah, it's your birthday and you have your exam tomorrow too. Ah. Oh. Fuel scooping complete. Well, at least once it's over with, you you know, the rest of the day can just be like, you know, fun time. Where are you from, Akbar? Fuel scooping complete. How'd you get there, Nathan? Well, maybe don't do that and get yourself stuck. Yeah, I was just wondering the same thing, Plater. And very funny, Malcolm. Yeah, the ship transfer prices are pretty crazy. I think... Oh... Uh, you know, I honestly don't remember um, how much it actually costs to build the thing as it sits right now. As depending on... I could probably figure it out, but... Uh, what's at Beagle Point? A whole lot of nothing. Um... It used to be the farthest point in the galaxy that you could get to. Uh, that was... That, that and bragging rights, because it is so far away. Uh, now, it's a little bit different now with uh, the engineers being a thing and neutron star jumps and that kind of business. But I think it's Isham's Reach that's the farthest away now. Uh, Beagle Point is you know, the one that a lot of people you know. know. Just because of, you know, distant worlds and everything else. You know, it was such a big thing at the time.
It's what you tell your dog when you want it to point. <laughs> I don't think it works like that. Uh, am I going to do another Lave Radio again soon? I don't know, actually. Fuel scooping complete. Um, whenever they want me to come on to Lave Radio, they usually ask me, not the other way around. Oh, that's kinda... That, that's up to them. And it kinda depends on what's going on, though, too, because, like, you're not gonna just have some, you know, random Joe Schmo show up. Yeah, for anything. You know, it has to be relatively on topic, otherwise it just doesn't make sense. Eight sixty-eight, so let's go a little farther. How about that one? How far away is that? Nine fifty-eight. How about this one? Not quite. That one? No. Nope. Yeah, that'll work. Ta-da! Uh, yeah, kind of, Akbar. Kind of. But uh, yeah, Lave Radio, they're pretty good. I actually like those guys a lot. Um, one of them... One of those guys, uh, Ben Edelweiss, I've played with him, you know, I've, I've flown with him a few times outside of Lave Radio, and he's a good guy. And the others seem like they're a pretty good crew, too. Alright, man, have a good night. Thanks for dropping in, and we'll see you next time. The slapping intensifies. Yeah, I think um, for today, we'll probably just finish up this thousand light years and then I'll call it for the stream for today because I don't want to... I really don't want to, um, you know, do a, do a whole, uh, you know, 20 hours straight. Three, two, so... One, engage. I did that once recently, you know, when I went out there. That was enough for now. Getting scared to death in Stalker while watching this. Yeah, that is a heck of a change of pace. Yeah, a 24 hour stream of me jumping, I can't see that being fun for anyone. You know, I, I live streamed from start to finish, you know, when I went out to Beagle Point, you know, which was 17 and a half hours. But yeah, I, I think doing that once is probably enough. Fun for you to crash it? Well, it's not hard. There's not much going on.
Just multi-crew you and let the fun begin? Well, there wouldn't be much fun. I only have two heat sinks for you to use. I don't even have any fighters. Like this this thing literally has nothing in it. It is a it is a hole with some stuff slapped on the outside and that's it. Computer shut down and you had to restart so you're playing catch up. No worries. And Akbar, if I was to get interdicted as it sits right now, uh, I could probably survive it. But, you know, I, I would just be high waking out the instant, you know, the, the, the precise second that I was able to. How bad is the paint? It's, it's pretty much gone. Like, it should be at 0% by now. At least I would think. Engage. Yeah, it should be at zero. It really should be. If it's not, I'll be very surprised. Yeah, see, those bits, I don't think those bits really come off that much. Um, Four, three, two, one, but I'm not, engage. I just don't know. It's a tough call. We'll see, um, we'll, we'll see what it actually looks like once I get docked somewhere. Which I'm going to dock at my home system whenever I make it back, which, yeah, that's not going to be today by any means. Pause that and let's see. I'll play a little bit of this. Because why not? Seems legit. One and a half times speed. That's pretty quick. You should get caught up relatively soon. There you go. Yeah, I didn't think it'd take very long. Four, three, two, one, 
Yeah, if only I could jump at one and a half times regular speed. That'd take 6,000 light years and turn it into nine. I could live with that. And like just multiply the distance by 50%. Double playback speed is... Have you ever done that on, like, music videos? It's... It's kind of funny. Well, I think it's funny. It gets to be immensely entertaining. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it, George. Fuel scooping complete. Your toupee. Three, You're not Trump. Two, one, Get rid of that thing. He's the only person that seems to be able to get away with what looks like a ferret on his head. Your spaceship is a convertible. So, how are you running with the top Three, down? Two, one, engage. Or did you get your canopy blown out? That's my guess. You got your canopy blown out, didn't you? Yeah, canopy. I was right. Seven minutes of air. You best hop too, son. Fuel scooping complete. Four, three, two, one, engage. Yeah, ludicrous speed is right. For a station jump? Well, yeah, depending on where you go. As long as it's not... You know, more than like 300 light seconds away from the central star, it should be fine. Yeah, 
And I've done that before, where it would have taken me longer to get back to the uh, to the station if I tried super cruising there. So I'd actually just jump back out Four, three, and then jump back two, to this uh, the one, system and end eight. up closer. It works. Yeah, well, yeah, the outposts can too. The thing with those though is that you have to make sure that they have repair facilities. Um, outposts are more likely to not be able to repair than full blown stations are. Fuel scooping complete. In which space no one can hear you scream. engage. <laughs> Savage. Running at one and a quarter speed and you're still with it. Interesting. Four, three, so yeah, then you would be. Is yeah, if it doesn't have repair facilities, you can dock. I don't know if it replenishes your emergency air though. I know it will at the full stations, but the outposts, I'm not sure. I would think so, but you know, don't take my word for it. Fuel scooping complete. All right, let's check the thing here. Let's go for... Um, not those. Elysium is good. We'll hit up that. Okay, so there we are with another thousand light years down. Um, Fuel scooping complete. So that pretty much means that I'm going to call it for the stream for today. Mostly because, yeah. I don't want to do too much all in one go because then it just gets boring for everybody, including myself. Oh no, Darius. I'm still a long ways away. And you're coming in on the tail end of this. I'm actually about to shut the stream off. Uh, Leaf, would I recommend Beagle Point? Um, only if you really want to go somewhere where you know, not everyone and their brother has been. That's really the biggest point to, you know, the biggest reason to go to Beagle Point. Is, you know, once you get out there, it's, it's a place where not everyone has been. Yeah, it's a, it's a semi-common destination for explorers. But not really anybody else. So, yeah. I mean, if you want to go there, go for it. But, you know, don't go there just for the sake of it, nothing. And Leaf, thanks for the sub. I much appreciate that, man. Go to the White P Nebula. I don't even know where that is. Yeah, you could go beyond Beagle Point. But uh, personally, personally, I just don't have much of a reason to. Not yet, anyway. And for those of you that want to know what the paint looks like right now, 
move that over a little ways and we'll hit free cam so this is what the paint actually looks like right now now that it's you know worn you can see you know the edges are all uh, edges are all pretty much gone some of the glowy stuff here up at the nose is pretty much you know is, is flaking off um, yeah you can see some along there some of it's flaking off over here I mean, the decals are pretty much gone you got more of the yeah, it's flaking off all over the place, but as far as like the glowy bits, most of that is still intact. And you know, the only places where it's flaking off is, um, you know, places that you can't see from the cockpit anyway. So there you go. For those of you that wanted to know, that's, that's what it looks like when it's hit, you know, zero or at least near zero by now. and yeah yeah that's pretty much that's right on the nose darius and have i been to colonia leaf yes i have um i was there back at you know, late october early november it's a neat area and there is you know some basic um you know some basic shipyard and function and outfitting there i mean it's not special it's mostly like E and D rate modules with maybe the odd C in there somewhere. Yeah, that's really about it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. So on that note, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it for today. And yeah, thanks for joining. And JDI... Thank you very much for that donation earlier, man. I appreciate that big time. Alright, guys. And I'll see you all next time.